Hello everyone. In the last session, we have finished unit number six, that was space segment. In today's session, we will start unit number seven, that is earth segment. In this session, we will cover, first of all, what do you mean by satellite segment that we have done already? Receive only home TV system and the community antenna TV system. Now, first of all, what do you mean by satellite segments? So, in satellite communication, the system can be classified into two broad categories. First one is space segment, second one is earth segment. So, the space segment means it includes satellite and the ground facilities. Like we have seen telemetry, tracking, and command system all right that means it will use to track the exit position of the satellite azimuth and elevation angle of the satellite and it will also provides a command to the satellites to correct its angle as well as its orientation all right that all the parts are included in space segment now what do you mean by earth segment? That means the different components which lies on the earth or you can say on the ground. So it consists of transmit and receiving earth station. All right. So first of all, we are focusing on receive only home TV system. So <laughs> If I want to say what do you mean by receive only home TV system, the best example is direct broadcast satellite service. That means we are going to broadcast a television signal directly to the home. So that is the best example of receive only home TV system. Okay. Earlier we have used C band, but nowadays we are using a KU band. Now, what are these band? As we know, there are different microwave bands like L band, C band, S band. Let me write L, S, C, X. K U K and K. So these are different microwave bands which are identified with the help of its frequency range. L band has a frequency range of 1 to 2 gigahertz. S band has 2 to 4. C band has 4 to 8 gigahertz. X has 8 to 12, 12 to 18.5, 18.5 to 24.5, and 24.5 to 40 gigahertz. Okay. So each and every microwave band has a specific frequency range. Okay. But for receive only home to system, nowadays we are using KU band. Its frequency range is well to 18.5 gigahertz okay so based on the band we are going to use it will also make impact on the antennas for example if i am going to use a c band then larger antennas were used that means having a diameter of 3 meter but as frequency is going to increase, its diameter is also going to decrease because both are inversely proportional. So as I'm increasing the frequency range, my diameter of the antenna is also going to decrease. That's why for KU band, we are currently using antenna having a smaller diameter that is less than one meter, okay? 
Now this is the block diagram of receive only home TV system. Or you can say a block diagram is showing a terminal for DBS, TV FM reception. DBS stands for direct broadcast satellite. All right. So this receive only home TV system has a two parts. First one is outdoor unit. Second one is indoor unit. You can see from this diagram that outdoor unit consists of antenna. That is a parabolic reflector. Second, that is receive horn and polarizer. And the third block that is a low noise amplifier or low noise block. All right. So this outdoor unit is lies on our terrace. That means our antenna. We are mounting our antenna and this one, this portion, the terrace. Okay. And this is the indoor unit, or we can say that this is our setup box. Okay. So between our television and our antenna setup box is there why because which channel we are going to use or we are going to watch that's why for specific reception of the channel it is going to be done with the help of our setup box okay so this is the outdoor unit this is the indoor unit indoor unit consists of so receiver or you can say setup box and TV. Okay. Now, first of all, we are focusing on the outdoor unit. What do you mean by outdoor unit? As it consists of parabolic reflector, one and low noise amplifier. So, the receiving antenna which is feeding directly into a low noise amplifier. So whatever the signal which are going to be received on this parabolic reflector are going to be focused at a one point and it is fed to the low noise amplifier. Why we are going to use a parabolic reflector? The reason is whatever the signal that we are going to use or receive on this area of our antenna is going to be focused with the help of horn which is mounted at the focus point okay the frequency that we are going to use is a ku band that is a 12 gigahertz frequency okay so the frequency range is 12.2 to 12.7 gigahertz that signal is going to be received with the help of parabolic reflector and that signal is going to be focused with the help of this horn and given to the low noise amplifier okay now with this frequency with this bandwidth we are able to make total 32 tv or you can say fm channel with 2 megahertz each okay so the polarizers may be switch from the indoor unit for the polarization interlink that means which polarization that we are going to use is the most important. Now, what do we mean by polarization that we have already discussed? Polarization means orientation of wave. There are total different types of polarization. That is vertical polarization, horizontal polarization, elliptical, circular, right? So over here, we are going to use circular polarization. It can be left-handed or right-handed, or you can say we will use horizontal or vertical polarization. All right. So the horn which fits into low noise block that contains LNA and the converter. So what is the function of low noise block? It provides the gain for the broadband 4 or 12 gigahertz. It can be for C band or it can be for KU band that converts into a low frequency range. Why? Because a downlink frequency is lower than the uplink frequency. We are going to down convert 
our frequency or you can say we are going to decrease the frequency why because we have used a coaxial cable to feed to the indoor unit okay we are down converting at 12 gigahertz to 950 to 1450 megahertz because our indoor unit and outdoor unit are going to be connected with the help of coaxial cable and that coaxial cable it does not operate at the higher frequency it operates at mega frequency on megahertz range all right now the frequency which is going to be down converted is coming to the indoor unit with the help of coaxial cable either we can use rf or you can say audio video jack okay selected channel is going to be down converted to IF frequency range over here the frequency which is coming over is 950 to 1450 megahertz and this indoor unit consists of amplifier tracking filter and down converter that means our mixture that will go into decrease the frequency range and the oscillator that means our local oscillator okay then that signal is going to be applied to 70 megahertz if block and is going to be demodulated by frequency modulated and this is for sound as we know for sound we are going to use a frequency modulation and for the picture we are going to use AM modulation that is amplitude modulation picture or you can say video for video we are going to use AM and for audio we are going to use FM all right now the what is the function of tunnel oscillator oscillator we are going to down convert the frequency that we have receive over here the frequency we have received is 950 to 1450 megahertz that signal is going to be amplified with the help of amplifier it is going to be down converted based on the channel that we have select okay the channel frequency is going to be given to the tunable oscillator and the difference between this is going to be applied to the IF block that is of 70 megahertz IF block. IF stands for intermediate frequency. Okay. Now for sound we are going to use FM and for picture we are going to use AM. So both the signals are going to be synchronized and we can see the video with audio on our TV system. So this was receive only home TV system. Okay. Now, what do you mean by community antenna TV system? As the receive only home TV system was for the separate users. That means we are going to mount separate antenna separate set of box for separate user but instead of having a separate receiver for each user all the carriers are demodulated in the common receiver filter system that means we are going to do the down conversion that is of from frequency of 950 to 1450 megahertz it is coming from the outer unit that signal is going to be received with the help of wideband receiver and the demodulation or you can say channel filters are used to first divide the channel in odd number of frequency and even number of frequency okay and these channels are going to be combined with the help of combiner because the channels which are combined into a standard multiplex signal for transmission over a cable to the subscriber. So we can say that this is used for cable TV system. Okay. If we are providing a user to the a TV signal, 
with the help of cable, then we are going to use a community antenna TV system. Okay. So a channel which are going to be combined with the help of combiner are going to be distributed with the help of cable to the specific user. Okay. So briefly I can say that a CA TV stands for cable TV or you can say community internet TV system originally, which is a system for distributing a television program to subscriber via a radio frequency signal, which is going to be transmitted through a coaxial cable. Okay. So to receive this cable, cable television at a given location, cable distribution lines must be available. So we can say that if I'm going to distribute a channel with the help of cable, then we are using a community antenna TV system. So this coaxial cable brings a signal to the customer's building through a service store, okay, or through an underground cable. So these are the topics which are included in the earth segment that we have discussed today is receive only home TV system and the community antenna TV system. All right. So if you have any question in this two topic, you can ask me at any time on my this email ID. In the next session, we will see what do you mean by master antenna TV system and transmit receive call station and DBS TV receiver. Thank you for your attention.